Okay, so we've got all the lines out now. I suppose I've got to say because this is part two of part one. So part one I will put up top right hand corner now. There should be an eye. If you want to watch part one of me putting the lines out, top right hand corner there is the video. So I guess it's time for me to once again to say hello and welcome to Fishing North Atlantic. I'm the only captain of the ship, the wobbly captain. So we've had a little rest, we've anchored overnight for a good few hours and we've got a few of our lines lit up like little Christmas baubles glowing blue there in the ocean. So being the only captain of this ship, let's give me orders. Let's get some of our deckhands on deep line haul. And if you're joining me, got a stutter again. If you're joining me for the first time, what was I going to say? That's that's well put me off that ass. Um, we are tuna fishing. Let's see what we get. So we've got a hard turn starboard. Starboard wobbles, turn it starboard, son. Right, here we go. This is this is going to be fun. Now, if you've ever driven, sailed, driven, whatever the correct nautical terms are, if you've ever driven this boat, which is double trouble, which, if you only just joined me, I have named the Kingfisher and just changed the colour on, it is quite difficult to steer as you've just seen I totally missed my lines there my line here so but if you put it in reverse it's it's easier to steer and control in reverse than what it is going forward right what we got we want money fish money fish we got one is that it a little bit, I'm a little bit disappointed in that I thought I would have at least got two on the line and, and with a lot more luck, three. But no, we just got the one. Just the one, Wobbles. So yeah, it takes quite a bit of getting used to it. There is a certain knack, a certain skill in steering this boat. So once you get the knack of it, it is quite easy. So I'm hoping after I've picked up a few lines I would have got used to the steering. Uh, I will show you an easy way of doing it a little bit later on if you're struggling with the steering on this boat. totally useless. I'm struggling with the steering on it. I put it in reverse, Captain Wobbles. Oh dear, this is terrible. I will get used to it. Get it in reverse. It's just amazing that the difference when you put this boat in reverse, how easy it is to uh, to steer. It's so controllable. It's so controllable in reverse. What we got? We got one. Oh no, just one. I thought I was going to get a lot more on the line down here. Now we're in slightly deeper water. We got one. This is not good. Am I going to beat my previous um, quotes of fish? What I got previously? Or money, should I say? I think I made seven hundred and eighty-eight thousand dollars. Now I want to beat seven hundred and eighty-eight thousand dollars on this trip, if possible. Right, what have we got here? One again. One. I think on the previous trip I caught 57 tuna. So I, I want to try and beat that. We're very early in the season as well. If you're just joining me in this video, we have previously in another video been out and 
walk the lines and we are still early in the tuna season here terrible at steering this boat it's all about the rudder control at the back and the power you put on going backwards is a lot more easier than going forwards see why people get annoyed with these little boats they all steer differently though they do they really do there we go that is that's that's looking good what have we got here just one again it looks like i don't know what the guy on the left is doing his stick doesn't even go into the fish the animation needs a little bit more tweaking there it just spoils it slightly. Right, what I'm going to show you, if you're struggling with the steering like I was just, and we'll get used to it by the way, there's a, there's a knack of doing it. Um, I just need to have a few goes. Let's turn the boat around. And if you go backwards, let's just let the waves just settle a little bit as we've just been dropped into the pond here by fast travel go backwards it's a lot easier to steer so if you're having a lot of difficulty with this boat and you've got all your lines close together have a go at going backwards it's a lot quicker it's a lot easier shall I say it's not it's not quicker but it's a lot easier to get the lines we'll do a few going backwards and then we'll go and then I'll turn the boat around got one again just one fish We're lucky we're in summer, summertime, when the weather is fine. We've got one fish again. We're lucky we're in summertime actually, because when you've got the bigger waves, this boat is really difficult to control. You're bobbing about all over the place in it. I'm a big boat fisherman, although I do like the little boats. So steering backwards, Luke, you, you, I'll get straight on this, straight away, no problem. Just by going backwards, it's as though the steering is back to front. There we go. They may update it, and lots and lots of updates come into this game, all the time. So, it may, oh we got two, two tuna money, money, money fish here, we just want them pitted perfectly, my deckhands. Don't damage that fish. Gosh, you're sacked. Two fish on that line. Good results. Better than one. Right, let's continue backwards. It's just so easy to steer going backwards. It's, it's just crazy. Compared to going forwards. Which is a little bit more difficult. We got two on this line. Oh, bingo. We're on a roll now. It's getting slightly better. So rumours will be going around port now, hey that's that wobbly captain sitting down there in bar, he likes to sail this ship backwards. <laughs> but on a serious note, if you're really really getting frustrated with um, trying to steer and manoeuvre this boat forwards, have a go, just take it backwards, Look, you're straight on, it's a lot easier. I can understand people's frustration um, when it goes forwards. It is, uh, it is a difficult one, this boat is, to, uh, to steer, especially when the sea's rough and you're trying to get them lines in. You're bobbing about all over the place. Have we got two on this line? Did we get two? Let's do another one backwards. If your lines are close together, it's not too bad. But if you've got quite a distance between your lines, um, it's quite slow going backwards. 
All the men, boys. I think we've got two on. Two on the line again here, Captain Wobbles. Fish on! Fish on! There we go. Big money fish coming on board. Let's turn around. Let's do it the correct way. Let's go forward, see? Let's turn boat around, Captain Wobbles. Turn it round, son. we get on going forwards I will get used to the boat I'm in an in and out of different boats you see in and out in and out of different boats being such a popular captain I'm in such demand out here pay me crazy money to captain their boats <laughs> Obviously keeping eyes out for other traffic out here. There's some rogue boats out here which uh, which like to ram you occasionally. You have to you have to look out for them. Deckhands are ready. Here we go. Look out for the line. Concentrate bubbles, see if you can get this, sail this ship correctly. Will we get it? Oh, oh, come on, stretch your arms out, lads, yes. There we go, we got two. Well, skip it, Captain. Well, skip it, Captain. It's just a shame about that animation there, isn't it? Really, um, I'm surprised um, they haven't uh, they haven't changed it. Maybe too much coding. I don't know. Woober, change the animation, please. <laughs> it, uh, it just lets it down slightly, just visually, the animation when you get the fish in, because one of the deckhand stick doesn't even go into the fish. Right, made a mess on this one. See if we can just go over without tangling it up in the rudder. We'll go backwards. We'll have to put it in reverse. <laughs> We're pushing the the Bui. I want that. What did they have? What's the proper name of them? Are they boys or Bui's? Bui's? I don't know. Someone's going right there. Oh, look at the dolphins. There we go, we've got some local wildlife following us around. The dolphins in the water there. Let's have another go at trying to get this line here. Oh, look at that, spot on. Spot on. Spot on, Captain! Well, Skipper. Coming from where I come from, Stoke-on-Trent, which is slowly becoming um, very depressed and poverty-stricken now. Things are supposed to be getting better in the world, but my city certainly is becoming a lot worse. They keep saying they're pumping all this money into the place, but all talk, no action. Um, we don't get boats here. <laughs> we don't get dolphins. So. It, to come out here, this game's based, where this game is based, 
I don't know all the proper terms and names of everything. It's all the learning curve, so I will get things and pronunciations wrong, which is to be expected because I know nothing about this sort of fishing whatsoever. Are we on? We're on. Fish on wobbles, two of them. Money fish. Well, skip it, Captain. Particularly what I liked about the previous game, Fishing Baron Sea, uh, which is a very good game as well. Um, when it first came out, what I actually liked about the game was actually sh showing you the sort of working life out here in Nova Scotia. And I quite enjoyed seeing that. I also enjoyed playing the game. Right, are we getting the hang of the steering of this boat? Let's see if we can swing the back around now and... Yeah, look at that, like a pro. What a skipper, Captain! <laughs> what we got on here? We got two. We got two Captain Wobbles, I think. Yay, money fish. Hopefully. I've got to beat 57 fish was my last catch out here. So if I can beat 57 fish, that's the target for today. Rubbish! Rubbish, Captain! <laughs> Didn't do too... Oh no, we did! We did really well there! We did well, we got it, we got it! Coming in a natural. So yeah, a nice little tip in this game is if you are becoming frustrated with steering this ship, there's quite a little bit of a skill to it. I can't explain it, but uh, I'm sort of figuring it out. Um, try going backwards. Are we in here? Oh, swing the back end around the other way. There we go. We're, we're on. We're on. We're on. Money fish again. We're on the line, Captain. Two. <laughs> Fix that animation. The animation's letting it down. The other guy's stick is not going in the fish. That guy's got so much strength. Look at him pulling that fish on on one stick. Must be a reason why they haven't changed that. Probably bottom of their list to do. But uh, yeah, it, it just lets it down just slightly that animation of uh, getting the fish out of the water. Let's see how we get on with this one. Oh, look at this. Like a professional, look at that, we got it first time, no messing. One fish on, fish on, just the one, Wobbles, just the one, Captain Wobbles. <laughs> oh, two, no, two, sorry, he was wrong. Did he drop that overboard? No, there you go, two. Two fish, I think. Two tuna. There we go. I don't know where they're putting it. A lot of fish coming on board and just a little pile on the deck. Right. Hard to port, Captain. Hard to port, Captain Wobbles. Looking out for other ships, other vessels on the ocean as we're doing this. Professionals that we are. Always keeping us eyes out for other vessels. Talking about my eyes, looks like we could be sailing. Ooh, get your sunglasses on. Could be sailing into the sun here. Right, I'm lost. The sun has blinded me. Right, let's have a look on my radar there. Ah, oh, no, we've got to go starboard. Starboard, Captain Wobbles, you've gone off course. Right, 
Uh, we should be seeing the lines now to install the inside. I think there's another boat out there as well, I can see in the distance. We'll have to keep an eye on him just in case he's a bandit or a pirate. Aha! There'll be pirates out here, lad. We'll have to keep an eye out. Oh, we don't get there. Oh, look at this, like a professional skipper. Yo! No! <laughs> what? My deckhands let me down there. Oh, we're going to have to have strong words with them. They should have got that. Maybe I was going too fast for them. Back it up. Back it up, Captain Wobbles. Back it up, son. There we go, nice and steady. Two fish on, looks like. I think my deckhands need longer sticks. The sticks with the hooks on, I don't know what they call them. I call them sticks. <laughs> they either need longer sticks or longer horns. They need a, they need a longer reach. Right, telly -o, here we go. Watch out for the bandit up there, Wobbles. Look like we got someone poaching. the back end round go over the top of them yeah oh look at that we're getting good at this now Sunset there in the distance. Best job in world, Bobbles. Best job in world. What could look like we're going to be out here in the dark? Oh, how did I miss that? How did I miss that? You missed it, Skipper. Oh, bless. Oh, look at all the tuna here. All the tuna in the water. We are right on top of a hot migrating hot spot here, it looks like. Look at all the tuna. Get the nets out, boys. We can get the rods out. Look at the tuna here. Loads of them in the water. Just look at that sunset in the distance. The sun's going down now, take a picture Wobbles. The sun's setting. Best job in, well, beats working in factory and still got champ for minimum wage, 16 hours a day. Ha! Been told to work faster. Best job in world out here. Look at all this tuna. Loads of them. Swing the back end round, Bobbles. There we go, like a pro. Like a pro. Hey, you'll be going up rank soon, Wobbles. You'll be Admiral. You'll be Admiral. <laughs> you'll be Admiral, Wobbles. <laughs> you'll be an Admiral. <laughs> Fish on board, nice and safely. On we go. Oh, look at that. Like a pro. I said we'd get better as we go along, didn't I? Look 
the lights on, getting dark. But yeah, with this boat, on a serious note, unless it gets updated, lots of updates come into this game on a regular basis. The game has changed so much since it was uh, first released and it has improved as well. Um, on a serious note, if you struggle with this boat, steering it, have a go going backwards. You might get some funny looks from other skippers, but go backwards. Persevere, but persevere and you will, you will get it. This boat isn't the easiest boat in the game to manoeuvre. And we are literally on the sea is like glass, it is so calm. So when, when the sea is rougher, this boat is even more difficult to control. Going backwards, easy, easy going backwards. It's unbelievable. It's like parking a car in reverse. Going backwards, this is forwards slightly more difficult. Come on Captain, been out here all night. <laughs> there we go. Two fish on it looks like. Coffee here, I'm running out of coffee. 
need more coffee. <laughs> like this. <laughs> it's actually a fishy North Atlantic coffee mug, which if you want one, is available in their store. I actually I actually begged for one. I begged for one. I said, here, send me one of them coffee mugs. And I got one. <laughs> Very much appreciated. <laughs> From uh, Mish, Mish Games. Very much, is how you pronounce it. Very much appreciated. I've got a fishy North Atlantic coffee mug here. Yeah, that's what it sounds like when I bang it on my table. If you want to buy one, they're available in their in their store, and they ship them. I believe they ship them out, possibly all over the world or thereabouts. Right, last line. go that is all the lines in 35 lines in if you want don't forget check out the previous video how many fish did we actually well we got just over nine 61 tuna 61 tuna on board the boat bottom left hand side corner of the screen right now 61 tuna just over 19,000 kilograms I think it said 61 tuna on board which beats my last tally which we had. Let's just put the crew to, crew to bed. Feed me, feed me, feed me. Keep them happy. Give them some food. Which beats my last tally out here. I caught 57 fish. 57 tuna last time. So, slightly beaten my last tally on fish count. Right, here's the, here's the complicated bit. Habitats, yes. Habitat number one is still healthy. Which is good sign, good sign. Still healthy. We can still fish habitat number one a lot more. We can take a lot more fish out of both of the habitats. Now finances, fish prices, import for the tuna. Right, Yarmouth. Let's just I'm just gonna run through these very, very quickly uh, as we go down here. And the prices just seem to get yeah, they I don't think anybody is going to beat Yarmouth. Yarmouth looks the place to go. It's not too far, far away from where I am now, I don't think. So, let's just double check. Yeah, it's looking, looking very much like Yarmouth is the place for me to go. So, we'll fast travel. We're not going to sail in, it'll take too long. If you want to sail in, by all means, in this game, if you've never played it before, you don't have to use this fast travel option. If you want to be real hardcore, you can actually sail to every destination uh, on, that's available on the map. So we'll just wait for this to load up now. Here we go. Back in port. Back in port. Press wrong button. Right, back in port. <laughs> we don't want to stop the game. We want to dock models. Right. Let's see what. Look at that sunset there. Was it the sunrise now? Probably sunrise, that is. Now we want to see what we're going to get here. Now, 57 fish last time, $788,000 was made. Would you like to sell at Yarmouth? Of course I want to sell. Why else would I be here? It's not for the beer in the bar. Right, what have we got? What have we got? $844,000. $833,000. Uh, 
18 cents there. So, six to one fish on board. We I beat my last my last uh, quota, my last catch, what I caught, we just slightly beat it there. Slightly more fish and uh, a little bit more cash. Sell, 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 sell. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're enjoying these fishing uh, North Atlantic videos, very important, smack that like button. The more you smack that like button, the more we will continue with the, with the series of fishing. Atlantic. So it's goodbye for me, the wobbly captain on the Kingfisher. Tatty bye.